In a bouchon. Welcome to Pirate Steve's cooking channel. Today I'm going to be cooking chili con carne using turkey mince. First of all, I'm going to cut up an onion. I have to just ignore my arm. I've just had a tattoo on, and that's why it's covered in cling film. Just roughly chop your own, it doesn't really matter. Just going to brown the onion and the mince. Just put a tiny bit of oil in. <coughs> like I say, I'm using turkey mince because I don't eat red meat, but you can obviously use whatever mince you like. Season it with a bit of salt and pepper too. <clears throat> Obviously, turkey mince is a lot leaner than beef mince, so there's less fat coming out of this than there would be with beef mince. That's why I've added the oil to begin with. If you're doing it with beef mince, you don't really need to add any oil to it. Once it's all broken up and starting to brown, then add your onion. This is browning. I'm going to just chop up some fresh chilies. These are just fresh, mild chilies. They're not too hot. If you don't want it really hot, you can take the seeds out. But I'm going to just leave them in because we don't mind it too a, a bit spicy. That's plenty of spice to go in that now. Right, now it's the onions are starting to sweat down and the mince is starting to brown off. So I'm going to add some garlic paste. You can't use fresh garlic or lazy garlic. I just prefer this over lazy garlic because it, you don't get the taste of the oil that it's sat in. And it tastes just like garlic rather than chemically. I just add as much as you like to taste really. <clears throat> Once we're at this sort of stage where it's, it's just browning and all the moisture will start to evaporate from the pan. We can start to add as dry spices. I'll add about half a teaspoon of each of these spices. So this is paprika, which will just give it a bit of a smoky flavour and add some colour to it. <coughs> I'm 
ground cumin. Same amount, about the same amount as each spice, about half a teaspoon. Ground coriander. It comes out. And this is hot chilli powder, which I'm not going to put too much in because I'm obviously I'm putting fresh chillies in as well. I'm going to add some chipotle paste, which this will give it a, a bit of a kick, but also it adds smoky flavour to it. About that much, about, again, about a full teaspoon of that. And then going to add about a tablespoon of tomato puree. And you want to just mix this in and make sure it's well mixed in. And just let it cook out a little bit. Smells a lot smokier now I've added the paprika and the chipotle paste. Just going to turn the heat down a little bit now. I'm going to now add the fresh chilies. There we go. You just want to give it a couple of minutes and it will start to dry and clump together a little bit. Once this happens then we can start to add as <coughs> wet ingredients. Once it gets to this stage where it's kind of going together we can add as passata or you can just use tin tomatoes if you prefer. start to add our other ingredients. I'm going to put a tin of bread kidney beans in. <coughs> I'm going to put a tin of mixed taco beans. But you can really add anything you want. It's, it's up to whatever beans you, you like the taste of. I always put baked beans in chilli, so I'm going to add a tin of baked beans too. And we've got some refried beans. Which will help to thicken it as well. It's a lot like baby food, but obviously it could taste like that. I think that's about it for now, and we'll leave that now. We'll put the lid on, and you want to leave that to simmer. If it becomes too thick, you can add water and let it cook down. 
but this is going to need anywhere between 30 to 45 minutes on the lowest heat with a lid over it and just leave it to cook away. Right, now it's had about half an hour to cook out. We're going to add our final ingredient, which is a load of fresh coriander. And you don't want to add this till right till last minute, otherwise it'll, it'll just reduce so much that you won't taste it. That's it, and you can serve that with tortillas, rice, um, guacamole, fresh uh, sour cream, anything you like really, or you could just eat it on its own. Luca is now going to give it a taste just to see what he thinks and give you his verdict. Might be a bit hot. Yeah. You smell coriander. <laughs> what? What? To what? Mm hmm. What? It's got a very nice flavour. Perfect texture as well. Beans are soft. Meat's nice. So it's spicy but not not crazy but but yeah not spicy. Yeah, very good. Pirate Steve, Pirate Steve, everybody loves Pirate Steve, Pirate Steve, Pirate Steve, everybody loves Pirate Steve. Yeah, ka 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 ka.